Good morning, everybody, and happy hump day, October 5th, 2022. Bonus day 130 for me. Do, 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 do. <clears throat> and I'm so excited. The good Lord allowed me to sleep from 10 to 2.45 ish in the morning. And then I ended up up for a while writing this out. Then I ended up going back to sleep. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Yesterday I dreamed about when I closed my eyes, I could see gold and angels. And last night I felt, I felt like I was being lifted up. I felt like my, my whole, I literally woke up feeling, am I going to heaven or what? But I could literally feel my body elevating. Like I was going up, upward to heaven. It was, it was unreal unreal so cool i love how he works full surrender jesus my van of white's not working very well today because i feel like oh there we go kind of sort of there that's better anywho um the bomb diggity no diggity no doubt what a gift what a huge blessing apparently a video that I uploaded on this channel, this Matt 333 in Heaven's Treasure Ministry from two months ago on Beware of the Forbidden Fruit, need another go around, according to him and him. That's going to drive me out of my mind. Let's put it front and center. I just, hmm. That's a lot better. Let's just put them right here. What's crazy is I had no idea when I searched, I just typed in beware of the forbidden fruit. I did two of them. The other one was six months ago. So if you want to follow along, you can go back and do a quick search under my our YouTube channel, Nat333 and Heaven's Treasure Ministry. <clears throat> Entitled, Beware of the Forbidden Fruit. When speaking with a recent lawbreaker under God's rule, not man's, God's, because he rules the roost. They just, this tyrant regime forgot. And his ongoing confessions, this lawbreaker, so to speak, smack my head. This ain't my first rodeo with a man lying to me. I hope only the similarities between another lawbreaker, that's a man, and this lawbreaker, that's a pastor, was just married four times, both of them. Okay, well that right there sets the tone. And, and my girlfriend had this beautiful little mug and she didn't even, she forgot she had it. She thought it was mine. And I said, well, I've never been used. Still a ticker on it, sticker on it. I said, twenty three dollars? Are you kidding me? But it is a, um, it's from Black Oak, and they, I can't remember the artist. She's not here to tell me again. But anyway, her beloved twin sister Shelly gave it to her as a gift, and I've been using it. I love it. It's just my size. It's a tiny little mug. And since I left my, the Futurist female mug, in the padded cell that I left. I thought everybody needed a heart. I mean, he's wearing one. Come on now. God is love. So, I'm pretty sure there's way more similarities in those two lawbreakers than both married four times. Had to take a quick little break. We had to do a little dog there, uh, switching around, and uh, had to plug me in because I was running out of juice. Although, I'm drinking a really fun combination this morning. Apple cider from Kircher's. Um, some pomegranate lemonade. Fresh lime juice and cranberry juice. It is delightful. So... Back to these lawbreakers, the similarities. 
Well, there's way more than just both of them were married four times. Just saying. So when the good Lord wakes you up, when you are and continue to be obedient to him, you listen big time. And you hear crystal clear of the mission he has and continues to set before you. For the record, so everyone is on the same page. I do see evil. It's everywhere. Look around. I do speak no evil. Never. I speak the truth. Then they run because they can't handle the truth and they don't have any rebuttal, but they'll wait for a while and finally they'll come up with something to come back with. But you can't, you can't keep, um, you, you, you just can't keep lying and me not discover it. Just saying. I do hear evil and it's everywhere as well. Anyone that thinks they are going to pull the wool over my eyes would be mistaken. Just saying. I might advise you to speak the truth. Why? Well, because God continues to write your wrongdoings in his beloved book of life. And it's funny. When I look at this, I didn't realize how much I kept doing this. The same thing he's doing. Go figure. <laughs> now, every time I look at him, I like, I know it is what it is. <laughs> I'm doing my best. I now understand why the capitalization in the Bible that has been rewritten so many times ticks me off. The capitalization was used for emphasis, even though it was printed in sentence structure per man's tyrant regime's ongoing law breaking of God's laws. His word. Revelations 22, 18 through 21. And this is from the Geneva Study Bible. I didn't even know there was one. How fun is that? But he, the Geneva Bible study tools. Thank you for this gem. Straight from the heart. Just saying. For I testify unto every man that heareth the words and woman, that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book. Hold that thought. This book. My Geneva Bible is in the padded cell that I left. Well, actually, I think it's been packed up. That's what I was told anyway. Um, so let me start all over. For I testify under every man that heareth the man or woman that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book. If any man shall add unto these things, God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. The supplication of John which is the third part of confirmation, joined with a curse of Adorite, of Aberns, to preserve the truth of this book entire and uncorrupted in two verses. He which testifies these things saith, surely I come quickly. Amen. Even so come, Lord Jesus. A divine confirmation or sealing of the supplication, first from Christ affirming the same and denouncing his coming against all those that will put their sacrilegious, wow, hands here. Then from John himself, who by a most holy prayer calls Christ to take vengeance on them. I too, with a most holy prayer, call out to Jesus Christ, the son of God, Jeremiah 333, call unto me and I will answer and show you great and mighty things that you know us not. I think that's pretty close to it to take vengeance on any who continue to disobey his orders 
set forth in his beloved book entitled the B-I-B-L-E. Yes, that's the book for me. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. The apostolic salutation, which is the other part of the conclusion. As I said, see, and is the end of almost every epistle, which we wish to the church and to all the holy and elect members of it. In Christ Jesus, our Lord, until his coming to judgment, come Lord Jesus and do it. Amen. Again, amen. That pretty much covers it in a nutshell. <laughs> I got a bag of nuts that I just keep cinching up in my own little Natalie way. One nut sack at a time for these lawbreakers. Funny, I keep saying these men need their nut sacks cinched up. And I'm just the girl to do it with God and Jesus leading the way. I'm sick and tired of the nonsense. I'm going to do anything I can to shield anyone else from becoming a potential victim of this new world cannibalism. Just saying. If you think eating people is of God, think again. Countless times, clean meat is referenced in his beloved book. Are there foods a Christian should not eat? Yes. The Bible teaches there are meats that are designated as unclean or unfit for human consumption. These meats include pork, shellfish, and the meat of other specific animals, sea creatures and birds. These laws are not ceremonial, but rather they reveal God's design of the animals in our digestive system. Now I know why they make me sick. I'm going to post a link so you can have a little sign and I'd print it out, take it to the grocery store until your mind is reprogrammed into what is written in here that man has altered and being disobeying, disobeying the Lord. That's not okay. If you see someone that has recently got the tremors, they might already be eating people just so we're crystal clear. I might suggest you consider the source by which you are purchasing meat from. Because me and her potentially, well, that's the way it looked like. The writing was on the wall when we were outnumbered at my padded cell location. You want to talk about getting the heck out of Dodge quickly? Yeah. When things are falling while I'm trying to do a soup, and I realized I'm supposed to be creating this amazing message of good versus evil in a padded cell. Meant not for healing, even though that's what they said. Healing in their eyes is not the same as healing in my eyes. Those are two different things. If you think healing is eating people, you are out of your freaking mind. Because I'm not about to eat somebody. He's not going to let me. And I'm not about to to try some special sauce that you've mixed up either. Funny how this looks like a heart. Beware of the forbidden fruit. Don't take a bite. Just saying. Know what you're eating before you eat it. Bless it under the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit before you even think of digesting it because it's not okay and cannibalism is real and it's been going on for years but it's getting worse now people you need to wake up and pay attention and protect your family this is not the same world we were living in before and I don't have to watch the news to tune in to see I was living proof that I was about to become a victim of that new world nonsense. No, thank you. I'll pass. Thanks for all the messages so I could share it with the world, so I could sing like a canary.
just saying. This is bonus day 130 for me. The congestion builds every day and I'm doing everything I can to stay alive because that's what he wants. And he protected me. He gave the message to Hannah. Something was taken from her room. She alerted me of that after I allowed somebody to use my bathroom. And the, the statement was, oh, well, you, I said, well, you can come over anytime. The door's always open. I never lock it. Well, you don't want the wrong people to hear that. Okay, well, you're a thief. I got that loud and clear. Y'all need to listen to the messages. He's been sending it all along. And if you need to understand the magnitude of it, watch the book of Eli or Google it. And I'll put that reference in where Denzel Washington, and I can't remember the other gal, they're in this old couple's house and uh, shows the graves of the people that they killed Nate because they had the tremors. Just saying. There's your message. Watch the book of Eli. Just saying. We are already in the new world. But it's about time. He's coming home to get his bride. And I'm so excited to see who he picks. Just saying. No one knows. There's people that can predict it, but no one knows. And it is not the freaking church. If you are still convinced it's the church, then get to the abridged edition and start reading this. Because you will clearly see it is not the church. Just saying. You've been lied to way too long. And I'm very upset with myself that I've always been a ham eater while I'm baking too. Oh, that's not approved under God. Sorry. No, you're not to be eating pigs. No, 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 no. That's not of God. So everything I ingest from here on out will be of clean everything. And I start off the morning every day with <laughs> communion, so I'm cleansing my body with him every day. And what's so poetic is my girlfriend Kelly gave me a warm blanket and it is red with feathers. Talk about a gift from heaven. So I feel like I'm covered with Jesus every night and the angels when I sleep. And I'm so warm and toasty. And when Hannah cry, tries to crawl up against me, it's too hot for her. So I want to, I also want to thank those that donated clothing and stuff because not only am I using it, but I'm using it for Hannah. Hannah and mine. So it's not about her right now. So she's a little, anyway. So I hope you enjoyed this video and you take what I'm saying to heart because all I'm doing it is out of love for each and every one of you to protect you, your spouse, your family, your children, your grandchildren. Love one another as thyself. Just saying. And you don't love others by eating them. That's not okay. And he does not approve. Nor does he. So, love to all bunches and bunches. Bye now.